Hey friends, my name is Eugene from Worker Bee Supply. We're a creative photography and video production studio here in beautiful Toronto. And today I'm gonna to show you how to create this image. Specifically, I'm gonna share the secret formula we use to create drool-worthy condensation on our drink photos. If you wanna know how to do it, you've come to the right place. Let's head to the shoot and we'll show you what you need to get started. Before we start shooting, let's gather a few things we're gonna need. The first and most important perhaps is our hero product. For this, we're gonna use this Perrier bottle. It's got a lot of glass, a lot of room for that beautiful condensation to sit on. Next thing is our secret ingredient, which is glycerin. We're using this non-toxic glycerin. Make sure you double check the one you get. It's a pretty small bottle, not very expensive, and you should be able to find it in most pharmacies. So check your CVS, Walgreens, or Duane Reed, or maybe your just local shop. And the final thing you're gonna need is a small spray bottle. We're gonna mix our glycerin with just regular water, and the ratio we're gonna use is 50-50. You can really play with this to, you know, change the thickness of the globs and the kind of like droplets that are falling on your product, but we're gonna use 50-50, and you can go from there. Basically add more glycerin if you want thicker droplets, and if you want more liquidy, runnier droplets, you can add less glycerin. Now you can see when you just add the glycerin, it kind of stays separated for a while. So really make sure you give it a good thorough shake and just kind of keep doing that throughout your shoot to make sure it's really mixed in there as you're using it. So now I'm basically gonna set up the shot. You know, this is a pretty simple photo, but I'm trying to create a more summary look. And as you can see, we have an overcast day. So in order to do that, I'm gonna add a few things, but one of the main things we need is some hard light. You know, I've got a few little elements like the lemon and a few others I'll bring in to kind of style the scene. But really, I'm gonna use a hard light kind of shining through this palm plant to create some beautiful shadows and kind of give it that bright, sunny feel. Now, I'm also gonna grab a couple other items to sort of cheat the season. You know, it's fall, but adding this lemon, adding a book, some sunglasses, kind of gives it that summer feel and sort of does a lot of the heavy lifting in terms of narrative storytelling within your image. Now that I got the basics of the scene set up, I'm gonna remove a couple of my props and do a base spray of these kind of droplets all over the bottle and kind of get really good coverage without getting it all over my props. Now don't worry, if you find a few blank spots, you can always come in close and add a few extra sprays once the scene's fully set up, but this will really minimize the cleanup you need to do. And now to get the final shot, I'm basically just gonna move everything around a little bit, little by little until I get the perfect, perfect composition that I want and kind of have a nice base image but overall, we're keeping the image and the lighting pretty simple. It looks like we have everything we need now, so why don't we head into Lightroom and start on the edit. So here's our base image straight out of camera, no edits, and we're just gonna go through and try to bring out a little bit more of the texture, give it a little more contrast and a little more warmth. One of the things I would recommend doing sometimes is going through your camera profiles and just trying a bunch of them on the image. Sometimes it really brings out the contrast in a nice way. So I'm gonna do that here and pick one that looks really good with the colors and tones that are in my image. It might be different for yours. Now that I've landed on one that I like, I'm gonna start going through the settings and just doing little tweaks, adding a little bit of contrast, bringing out the shadows a little more, adding a little bit of warmth, Basically just gonna go through and do some basic adjustments. This is very image specific, so I won't get into the details, but if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. and I'll happily dive in and answer them and let you know what I'm doing exactly. So now overall the image is looking pretty good, but I still feel like it's a little cool. So I'm gonna go into one of the newer features in Lightroom and that's the color grading module and start tweaking it in order to add some warmth to the midtones and the shadows specifically. This is looking great in terms of, you know, being a base image that we're gonna continue to work on in Photoshop. So I think this is it for Lightroom. Let's dive in and finish this up. Before we start working on it, I just wanna get in and show you the close up of kind of like all these beautiful water droplets. And I think that's what's great about this technique. You can really control it based on your spray nozzle, your ratio between the glycerin and the water, as well as combining it with other techniques like dulling spray on the overall glass. You could really create a beautiful, realistic looking condensation, but one that actually sits there for a while and doesn't just run and kind of like disappear after a few minutes. To kick things off in Photoshop, I'm gonna do our basic cleanup layer like we always do if you've seen our other videos. And basically we're gonna go through the image and just find any elements that are distracting. This could be kind of like things that we didn't intend to be there like dust or little flecks, or it could be, you know, bruises on the lemon or kind of a weird age. Anything is distracting and you're kind of like, oh, I don't want that. That's attracting my attention and it shouldn't be. 
get rid of it. To continue pushing the narrative of the image into that more like sunny, bright, warm feel, I wanna add a lens flare. It's just coming in from the top right and just kinda of like bathing it with some sunlight. I do want a little bit more pop in this image, so I'm gonna add a curves adjustment layer and just clip the highlights and shadows a little bit and just overall bump the entire image up a little bit brighter. I think we're just about done here. You know, with these kind of images, you really don't need to overthink it. If you do a lot of the heavy lifting on location at your shoot, you actually don't need to do a lot of compositing or post work. So I think we're good. Let's see the final image. Wow, we were really able to level up this image using the fake condensation technique without very much effort. So if you wanna know more shoot breakdowns, behind the scenes, as well as deep dives into all aspects of photography and video production, Make sure you hit subscribe, it helps us out a lot, and I'm sure it's gonna help you out a lot as well. If you're already a subscriber and part of our community, thank you so much. Please hit that notification bell so you find out when we drop the latest video. For now, here's the final image. Take a close look at all the detail. All these water droplets, you know, they catch the light and kind of make that image pop. It really feels like a bright summery scene. I just wanna reach in there, grab that bottle, and take a refreshing sip. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know down in the comments below. And if you use this technique on one of your photos, please send it to us on Instagram. We're at WorkerBee Supply. Personally, I would just love to see them and see what you guys create. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a blast sharing this with you. My name is Eugene from WorkerBee Supply, and I'll see you next time. Bye.